What's up, YouTube? Uh, I haven't made a video in a while, and uh, I'd like to thank all of you guys that have subscribed, and I would like to thank uh, everyone that has commented in my videos. Uh, this is another quick video on making money off of fish. Um, like I said, I really appreciate you guys commenting, even if it's, uh, you know, yo tank is trash. Um, I really appreciate it because it's kind of a motivation for me, and I've had someone tell me, hey, I've seen your tank at the best. And right now it's not looking so hot. Thank you for commenting. Uh, but this isn't about me doing an awesome aquascape or anything cool like that. This is me talking about money. So let's get to it. All right. To start off with, um, here's a piece of paper showing all the stuff and expenses I've made. Um, this isn't actually what I would have actually spent on a 55. Honestly, I wouldn't have spent $100 on a 55 unless it came with a stand, a canister filter, a heater and some fish because I've seen them go on Craigslist at 55 with a canister filter and another filter for like 120 and you know if you offer someone cash at $100 they'll take it I've seen 75 gallons with stand and everything for $100 so you know I've also seen 125 gallon tanks for $100 so you know this is me quote unquote you know I did this so that you guys can see that it is possible I spent $100 on the tank, cough, cough, I already had it, but, you know, that's a good deal I found on Craigslist. I mean, it's pretty reasonable for what I see on Craigslist. I spent $60 on all the Liguigia. So, by the way, I had way more. Uh, that's the reason this tank looks like crap. I have this on a timer, so it's not on yet. Um, and my plants that I've made, I've made a $100 profit. Or, actually, in that case, it'd be $40 profit. Um, so, as you can see... Plus 100. I've made 100 in total, but it's profit of 40 off the plants. So basically, I am negative 60 dollars right now. I still have a lot of plants, so I don't feel too bad. Um, I'm gonna wait for these to grow out a little bit more because you got to realize the more these grow, the more plants I have because I can trim them down and sell a bunch of plants. Um, but this is what's going on. I mean, it's been I don't know. I'll check the video. I'll check my first video on making money off of fish. And I'll go from there. I guess I need to add a uh, negative five dollars because I know somebody wants to care that I added five dollars for the silicone. So negative five dollars. And I don't want to butcher silicone because I know I can't spell worth a damn. So, but you know, I spent negative five dollars on the silicone. So, but so far so good. Um, you know, if you guys are interested in the plants, which you know I gotta go positive. That's the only reason I'm doing this. I got some duckweed online, I got some Liguigi online, and I am thinking about posting some Java Moss online, which will hopefully get this up to paying this one off, which is a negative on the plants. But um, you know, you know, a lot of people say, you know, it's not about the money. I have to agree it's not about money, but you have to understand this is how you do it if you want to do it. Understand though that you don't have to always go with a 55 you can go with a 10 gallon you can make a decent amount of money off of a 10 gallon a 20 gallon uh... your expenses are a lot less um, you could do it with a smaller tank um, you could do it with a bigger tank the positives to having a bigger tank is you gotta realize i have more time to just build up an aquarium full of plants like right now if i wanted to i could post this whole tank up for auction and see what i could get and i could possibly get the six dollars that i'm negative possibly not hundred percent possibly get the negative sixty dollars and this tank is completely paid for and then I could resell the tank for a profit of a hundred dollars because I spent a hundred dollars or just to make my profit so I mean you know the reason I've made money off of it it's taken a lot more and I stumbled upon it on accident and I'm not gonna lie I spent a lot of excessive amount of money on things that I shouldn't have like I bought brand new stands I bought brand new lighting which I you know was just crappy lighting I didn't know any better I brought the glass tops because they were cool. I'm not gonna lie, I still like glass tops. Glass tops are my favorite. Um, you know, I had to buy all these gravel and fake plants, which I wish I would have gotten into the real plants a long time ago, but I'd never seen a planted tank tool. I went, I mean, I saw a couple at a local store, but you have to understand when I saw them, they had CO2, they had all sorts of lighting on it, and I thought it was super expensive and super hard to do. So, you know, when you see that kind of thing, you know, you kind of get discouraged. So, I'm really glad that I got on YouTube and saw a bunch of people trying it, or not even trying it, doing it. And, you know, I would like to thank you YouTubers that were doing it. Because of you guys, I got into it, and I can't thank you guys enough. Um, 
for yo people, or yo, yeah, this is yo people talking smack on my tanks. Give me some time. Uh, you know what? I've only been doing this for not even a year, so hopefully by next year I plan on actually just leaving it, just planting them and leaving them. Um, a lot of these plants were dead. A lot of them were dead, and the reason they were dead, they were so bunched up, I think. They lost a bunch of new, you know, they couldn't really get any food or anything. But, you know, I moved them out of tanks, like, this one was completely dead, like, dead green. This one was completely dead, came back. I mean, I had a bunch of them that were just completely dead, and I just planted them and said, screw it, I hope for the best, and the best has happened, so. Plants are awesome, by the way. If you don't know anything about plants, go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm not going to stop with these videos. Because I want to see you guys, I want you guys to see that I will go super, super positive, and you'll see that I'll just keep improving this tank until the point where this tank is going to be, yo, not trash. It'll be yo, wow. It'll be really more of a wow. It will not be a yo at all. So I want you guys to see that and get to experience that out of my tanks because I've had my 55 that way, and I plan on getting that one back to shape. That one got ruined. I don't want to say it got ruined. It was my fault because this one cracked and I had nowhere to put all the plants. So it was part. It was my fault. There was no question about that. So uh, questions, comments, um, subscribe if you like these uh, making money off uh, things. I'm just showing you an update on everything. So you know I've already made a hundred and I still have a bunch of plants. I plant. I planned on selling ten of these, and then I was gonna wait and let these get really like luscious. And what I mean by luscious is like I want all of them to look like that with just a ton of leaves. And they're starting to get there. I mean, they were looking terrible. I mean, all of them were looking like that, but with nothing on them. Like, this one was completely dead and it came back. That one was dead and came back. A lot of these were dead and came back. I mean, I don't know if you can see that one. That one was dead and it came back. So, a lot of them were completely just not worth even keeping. But I said, screw it. I've already paid for them. They'll come back. A lot of them came back. And when I shipped out some plants... And people came and bought plants. I gave them the best of the best. I kept the crappier one, crappier ones, because that's the thing is, you know, like I said before in the previous videos, it's about your reputation as a seller. And if you're going to sell crappy stuff, people aren't going to want to buy from you. So, you know, also threw an extra for people that I shipped to and sold to locally, just because you know you want to give them that extra in case something happens. So, Maguia, really good plant, low light, super easy. Uh, if you guys have any questions about making money or if there's something in particular you want to see about money, I am going to start introducing fish into the equation. Uh, you know, buying them dirt cheap or buying them basically at a dollar a piece or buying them, I mean, just retarded cheap or buying them really, really nice fish and showing you guys how to breed them so that you can see that I make money off of the breeding. So I haven't decided if I want to do with shrimp, uh, angelfish, um, Guppies. Guppies has been a really high priority. I bid on some, but they're really high quality. Uh, I wouldn't be selling them locally. I'd be lo selling them on online. So, comment below if you'd like to see me breed shrimp, guppies. I mean, you got to realize, when I breed the shrimp and guppies, I can put them in here, and I don't have to worry about anything. Angelfish, on the other hand, I won't be able to breed them. I'll have to buy them itty-bitty pea size, and then just grow them up and sell them as adults. So, let me know what you guys think. Comment. Rate. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.